Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com, here to bring you a skill. Today we're talking about something kind of mundane that I don't think gets as much attention as it should, even though it is something simple. We spend an extraordinary amount of time in and around vehicles throughout just our daily lives, but ironically we don't spend too much time training in and around them as a whole. So, today we're going to talk about how to safely draw your weapon, whether it be concealed or open carry, while seated here in your vehicle, to either engage something from your vehicle or exit your vehicle weapon in hand. And we want to do that safely. Well, I'm sure it's hotly debated what the first rule of gunfighting is. Probably is something in the effect of make sure you win. I imagine a subset of that is don't shoot yourself. So. How do we draw out our weapon safely without shooting ourselves? Quick note on seatbelts. Most people wear them, especially depending on where you are. That said, like when we drive around Kabul, we wouldn't wear seatbelts. One, we had so much kit on, and two, we were generally at speeds to where, like you're not going on highway speeds around Kabul, so we just didn't wear them. Usually you are wearing them, something to be aware of. If you're gonna be getting out of the vehicle, make sure you clear that seat belt. If something's so close that you're gonna actually be engaging through the window, probably not too worried about taking your seat belt off right then. But when you go to leave the vehicle, be conscious of your seat belt. Train it. Really funny to watch people in training not remove their seat belt and about knock the wind out of themselves, like trying to jump out of the vehicle as fast as they can with their seat belt on. In the real world, not as funny when that happens. So, be conscious of your seatbelt. So what's special about drawing out from a seated position in a vehicle? Not very much. The biggest thing is we're in a confined space and we need to be cognizant of where our limbs are. Last thing we wanted to do was shoot ourselves in an already stressful situation and be way behind the power curve at that point. So, I'm gonna go real quick, drawing from concealed, both appendix as well as strong side. So two scenarios, one being threat so close, I need to immediately engage it, not gonna worry about the seatbelt. Second scenario, I need to have my weapon out, but I have time and opportunity to get out of the vehicle with my weapon, I am gonna worry about the seatbelt. First one, not worried about the seatbelt. Biggest thing is drawing straight out, punching the weapon up over the steering wheel to engage the threat. So from the concealed, Penix carry, I'm gonna clear my cover garment, grasp my pistol, draw straight out, punch it out over the steering wheel, engage whatever needs to be engaged. That's it. It's coming straight out without flagging myself. Marry up the hands, punch it out over the steering wheel to engage. All right, so scenario two, we wanna exit the vehicle with our weapon in hand. How do we wanna do that safely? One, we wanna get rid of our seatbelt Otherwise, we're gonna be uh, like halfway out the door. Don't do that, even though it's funny to watch as a bystander. So we wanna clear our seatbelt. How we're gonna do that, you can use left or right hand. I find the right hand, economy of motion, rather than bringing my left hand across, going and then trying to clear my cover shirt with my right hand. I already need my hand down there. Use my right hand, get rid of my seatbelt, and at the same time, I'm already clearing my cover shirt, allowing me access to my pistol. At that point, matter of drawing it out, marrying it up, bringing it over the front. Do I need to marry my hands up? If I'm concerned about exiting the vehicle, no. Punch it out here, go ahead and open the door, exit the vehicle. Why do we want this up here? Well, a couple reasons. One, if you're fat, or two, for that matter, if you just happen to have a lot of gear on, and you are consequently heavier than usual. Being able to leverage off this, whether you're pulling with your wrist or once you're most of the way out, pushing with your wrist, it's gonna help you. If this is just floating up here in space, that's doing no one any good. Use science, push, pull, whatever, create that anchor point right there. So how do we draw it from our strong side, whether it be concealed or open, such as law enforcement or Driving around Afghanistan, usually wear a battle belt, have my Safari Land ALS over here on the side, maybe a cover shirt over it, something like that. But either way, pistols over here, 
strong side three o'clock. Everything's pretty much the same. Don't flag ourselves. Don't flag anything else in the vehicle. What we want to do is get it out as quickly as possible. Again, two scenarios. One, we're going to engage something that needs to be engaged because it's really close and we got to deal with it now. Second one, we want to get out of the vehicle with our weapon in hand because we have a little bit of space, time, opportunity, that sort of thing. So we'll go with the first one. So first scenario, I need to immediately get my weapon engaged through my windshield. Not worried about the seatbelt. If I have any cover garment, I'm going to get rid of that, grasp my pistol, draw it out. Going to bring it straight up, basically along the console without flagging myself, punch it out in front of the steering wheel, at which point I can engage, do whatever I need to do. Don't do anything crazy and start flagging over here and you're like, oh, but I don't have a passenger. Okay, well, today you don't and tomorrow you might and it's a lot easier to learn one technique which works for every scenario versus two different techniques because I may or may not have a passenger today. So, learn the one way, we're golden. So lastly, going to draw it from the strong side and I want to get out of this vehicle with my pistol in hand. Now it is imperative I get clear of my seatbelt as well as not shoot myself in drawing out. To do so, I'm actually going to use my left hand. Why I do this is because usually if I have, especially if I have exposed holster, it's easier to just clear a cover shirt or just grasp my pistol with my right hand while going across to get my seatbelt with my left hand. The reason I want to do that, especially like law enforcement and stuff, is you want to actually clear this thing of your body. Driving around overseas, have a rack on, bunch of gear, or law enforcement, you got like your mic clipped up here, badge, all sorts of other crap. You want to get this thing clear of you as you're drawing out your pistol. So in doing so, I'm going to come across to my left, undo the seatbelt, clear my cover shirt if I have one with my primary hand, draw out. Again, the only thing I'm flagging is my center console and I'm going to bring the weapon out in front of the steering wheel, up in front, over the top of. Reason being, there is a plethora of shit to get caught on in a vehicle, especially even just a clean vehicle like this. You have all sorts of different little holes and crannies, weapon can get jammed into you if you're trying to bring it up across your steering wheel or something like that. All these levers, shifters, let alone if you're actually somewhere where you have all sorts of alternate comms and stuff. You have everything Velcroed to your dashboard, got your GPS, Blue Force tracker, uh, whatever it may be, all sorts of crap. You wanna get this thing up over the top of your steering wheel, at which point you can go ahead and exit the vehicle. Again, I talked about being able to use this as leverage, whether being able to pull yourself forward or getting out and pushing yourself away on your steering wheel, rather than just having this hand floating up here. Make sense? So why are we talking about this today? Well, chances are you're probably gonna be driving a vehicle some point today. If not today, you're probably gonna drive a vehicle tomorrow. And all we're trying to do is create a map for us in the event we need to. Our brain's like, oh, you know what? I've done this before. This is what I do. Boom, we're done. People that actually is really important for, like law enforcement, probably want to get a few reps in. Making sure you can get in and out of your vehicle, well, namely out of your vehicle, weapon drawn, in the case that you need to. When you practice this, probably want to find somewhere nice and quiet, maybe a bank parking lot or just kidding don't do that maybe try it in your garage with your garage door closed something along those lines at any rate give it a go see if it works and as always thanks for joining us at kipadger.com and look forward to seeing you next time and i'm out